This is Rambo. These are the truth codes. I say this for all decodes that I do that involve sports. You do not necessarily have to be a sports fan to appreciate this decode, which is about the premature passing of the son of National Football League legend Ray Lewis. No professional sports franchise in the United States is as identified with one single player as the Baltimore Ravens are with the now-retired Ray Lewis, who played his entire Hall of Fame NFL career with the Baltimore Ravens exclusively. His son was only 28 years old at the time of his death. This narrative, at its core, is really about Ray Lewis. His son was named after him. Ray Lewis III was the one of his four sons that most closely resembled him. The Baltimore Ravens are named after the famous poem by Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven, which is one of the most celebrated poems in the history of English language literature. Abraham Lincoln is said to have memorized it. But the most ancient and salient of all raven symbolism is the two ravens of the Scandinavian Norse god Odin, aka Woden, whose ravens were named Hogan and Munin. The Baltimore Ravens initially had three raven mascots named Edgar, Allen, and Poe. The Baltimore Ravens had two actual live raven mascots. This evoked the two ravens of Odin, Hugin, and Munin. Odin, in legend, self-sacrificed by hanging, often but not always described as hanging upside down, on the tree of Yggdrasil. For this reason, Odin is the hanged man of the tarot, and in some tarot decks, Odin slash Woden is used for the Hanged Man card with his two ravens, Hugin and Munin. This is the Wizards tarot deck by Corrine Kenner, illustrated by John J. Blumen. The Odin slash Woden Hanged Man features the glyph for the planet Neptune. The glyph for the planet Neptune is a trident with an upside-down cross as its middle prong. In this deck, the image of Odin and his two ravens, Hugin and Munin, is upside-down on the wall in the background. Upside-down is an important part of the Hanged Man symbolism. This Neptune trident glyph is seen in the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. Their destruction is attributed to Osama bin Laden, who was hunted and executed in the U.S. military's Operation Neptune's Spear. Operation Neptune's Spear was led by the, at the time, U.S. Navy Vice Admiral William McRaven. William McRaven was the ninth commander of the United States Special Operations Command. William McRaven was also the 11th Chancellor of the University of Texas system. Ninth, 11th, for a commander of a post-9-11 operation. In the alphanumerical code of English Gematria, Operation Neptune's Spear has a value of 119. like 11th September, which is September 11th, 9-11 in the United States. 9-11 is the 156th prime number. 156 is the date 15th June, which is the date in 2023 on which Ray Lewis III is reported to have died. Google and most other sources, such as Wikipedia, state that Ray Lewis III's date of death was 15th June, although his funeral and memorial state that he died on June 14th. Either way, if June 15th is not his actual death date, then it's still relevant that they want to imprint 15th of June on the collective conscience. Another major occulted connection between the Baltimore Ravens, Ray Lewis III, and September 11th is made through one of 
only three players in the history of the Baltimore Ravens to be drafted by the Baltimore Ravens and play their entire careers or almost their entire careers exclusively with the Baltimore Ravens and then gain election to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This player is Ed Reed. Ed Reed was the defensive leader of the Baltimore Ravens at the time of theirs and Ray Lewis's second Super Bowl win when Lewis was still a good player but no longer at his dominant apex. Ed Reed was born on September 11th. Ed Reed was a defensive back at the University of Miami Hurricanes before being drafted into the National Football League by the Baltimore Ravens. At the University of Miami, Ed Reed wore jersey number 20. Ray Lewis III initially was a University of Miami Hurricane. Like Ed Reed, he was a defensive back and like Ed Reed, he wore jersey number 20. Again, Ed Reed, born September 11th, 9-11 is the 156th prime number. 156 is 15th June, the reported death date of Ray Lewis III. September 11th was about the destruction of the trident that you see on the Hanged Man tarot card. The Hanged Man is Odin, whose symbolic animal is the raven. Osama bin Laden's manhunt was led by Vice Admiral William McRaven. There is double synchronicity in gematria between McRaven and Ed Reed. At 31 and 41, Ray Lewis III clearly was not at the standard of the Miami Hurricanes, one of the elite football programs in college football. He did not play a single game for them before moving to a lower level program, but he appears to have been recruited into the University of Miami Hurricanes program, which is his father Ray Lewis's alma mater, for this Ed Reed September 11th Raven ritual. Admiral William McRaven was born on November 6th, a date written 116. 116 is 911 upside down. And when we talk of upside down, this is the primary characteristic of the hanged man of the tarot. Odin hung upside down on the tree of Yggdrasil, and Odin's bird is the raven. So McRaven, born 116, inversion of 911. Admiral William McRaven was born in the year 55. 55 is the gematria value of the hanged man. 116 is November 6th, but it is also January 16th, which is the birthday of former Baltimore Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco, who won the Ravens' second Super Bowl, that was Super Bowl 47, in which he won the Most Valuable Player Award. So the Baltimore Ravens and 9-11 brought together by the symbol of the Raven. Ray Lewis III died at age 28. The original World Trade Center also died at age 28. The World Trade Center opened on a date with 28 numerology, April 4th, 1973. 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 3 equals 28. The Raven poem was authored by Edgar Allan Poe. The Baltimore Ravens named their three Raven mascots, Edgar, Allan, and Poe. The Ravens of Odin are Hogan and Munin. There are alternate spellings of Hogan and Munin. This is the English spelling, M-U-N-I-N, has Jamacha value of 28. Edgar equals 28. See my video titled Sirius, the Dog Star, Vegas, Doja Cat, where I predict that the singer-slash-rapper Doja Cat will be a Super Bowl 58 halftime show performer. Her most recent hit is her song Vegas that was nominated for an Academy Award as part of the soundtrack for the movie Elvis. Doja Cat will be 28 years old at the time of Super Bowl 58. The Baltimore Ravens franchise will be 28.
years old at the time of Super Bowl 58. The Baltimore Ravens' 28th birthday will be on 9th of February. The Super Bowl will be on the 11th of February. 9-11. Again, 9-11 is the day on which the World Trade Center died at 28 years old, the same age at which Ray Lewis III died. When the 2017 Las Vegas Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival shooting happened, the live performer on stage was Jason Aldean, who was born on the 28th. There are implications here for the upcoming Super Bowl 58 to be held in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Baltimore Ravens and Ray Lewis won their first Super Bowl on the 28th, the 28th of January in 2001. Las Vegas, Nevada was founded on the 15th of May, 1905. Ray Lewis was born on an anniversary of the founding of Las Vegas. 15th May, 1975. The date 15th May is written 155. Las Vegas will host Super Bowl 58, a city that saw the biggest mass shooting in United States history when Stephen Paddock is accused of killing 58 people. When you spell out 58, you get a gematria value of 155, like 15th May. The gematria value of William McRaven is 155. Like Ray Lewis's birthday, like the founding date of Las Vegas, 15th May. William McRaven led the operation that killed Osama bin Laden on May 2nd, 2011. May 2nd is written 5-2. 5-2-52 is Ray Lewis's famous jersey number. In the poem The Raven, the raven bird can talk but only says one word, nevermore. Most lines of the poem end with words that rhyme with nevermore or with nevermore. In the Pythagorean or full reduction cipher of English gematria, nevermore has a value of 52. 52 is the number of playing cards in a deck Ray Lewis identifies with the playing card deck. He has a workout routine based on playing cards. See my original Ray Lewis video. There'll be a link at the end of the video, and there's a link in the description below the video. Each playing card actually corresponds with a day of the year in cartology. The playing card for Ray Lewis and Las Vegas' birthday, May 15th, is the Four of Diamonds. In this Ray Lewis workout video, he just happens to draw the Four of Diamonds. Playing cards are a major part of the image and persona of Las Vegas, as they are of Ray Lewis. So, this is another connection between Ray Lewis and the city of Las Vegas, besides their birthdays. The Las Vegas, Nevada Super Bowl 58 will be held on February 11th, in 2023. The playing card that corresponds with February 11th is the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is the highest profile card in the deck and is associated with Las Vegas. Jason Aldean, who was performing at the time of the 2017 Vegas shooting, has a tattoo that features an Ace of Spades. Odin symbolizes self-sacrifice for enlightenment. Before self-sacrificing on the tree of Yggdrasil, Odin sacrifices one of his eyes. This single eye is a symbol of higher consciousness. Back to this tarot card of Odin as the hanged man from Corrine Kenner's Wizard's Tarot deck, Odin is depicted with an eye patch to signify his loss of one eye. 
Another place in which Odin is depicted with an eye patch is in the Thor, pronounced Tor originally, but in English Thor, Marvel comics and movie adaptations, most famously played by Anthony Hopkins. Super Bowl 58 will be held at the home stadium of the Las Vegas Raiders, whose famous logo is a man in a football helmet, a pirate, with an eye patch. As I described in my Vegas Doja Cat video, Doja Cat has been portrayed with one eye. As almost all celebrities have at one point, to be fair. So the ravens Hugin and Munin are associated with the single eye through Odin. The most famous survivor of the 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival at a location that is in very close proximity to Allegiant Stadium, which will host Super Bowl 58. The most famous survivor of that is Tina Frost, who lost one eye after the shooting. After her surgery, Tina Frost appeared at a Country Music Hall of Fame event with an eye patch, remarkably evoking the image of the Las Vegas Raiders logo. Tina Frost is from Maryland and is said to be a football fan, not something that most females profess to. Tina Frost, who lost an eye at the 2017 Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival mass shooting and has worn an eye patch reminiscent of the Las Vegas Raiders logo and reminiscent of Odin, whose symbol is Ravens. Tina Frost is a Raven fan with this picture of her in a Ravens jersey portrayed across the mainstream media in the aftermath of the shooting. In English, Gematria. Tina Frost has a value of 58. Like Super Bowl 58. Like Baltimore has a value of 58. In the upcoming NFL season that will culminate in Super Bowl 58, the Baltimore Ravens will be led by quarterback Lamar Jackson, who just recently signed a historic contract, not the largest ever in NFL history, but containing the highest ever signing bonus. The numbers of the Lamar Jackson contract synchronize with this narrative. Ray Lewis III died on 15th June, According to most media sources, 156, the 156th prime number is 911. Lamar Jackson's contract set the record for most money in the first three years of a contract, which is 156, 156 million dollars. His contract also set a record for per season average, which is 52 million. 52 is the other key number to this narrative, Ray Lewis's jersey number. The next Super Bowl, 58, will be held in 2024 on February 11th. Groundbreaking for Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, the host of Super Bowl 58, occurred on November 13th, 2017. One month, 12 days, 112, after the October 1st Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival shooting. 112, 11th February, the date of the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas just won its first major league sports title when the Las Vegas Golden Knights of the National Hockey League won the 2023 Stanley Cup. The Las Vegas Golden Knights will be the reigning Stanley Cup champions at the time that the city of Las Vegas hosts Super Bowl 58. The poem The Raven is about a man who is steeped in extreme grief over the loss of the love of his life named Lenore. The Raven and Las Vegas come together here again with a super match in the base ciphers of English Gematria between Lenore and Knight. Ray Lewis professes to be an extremely devout Christian and is known for his charisma, leadership, and motivational ability. Thanks to his effervescent personality, Ray Lewis has enjoyed a career in broadcasting since retiring. But despite his dynamic persona, he's been shadowed by premature death. 
See my first Ray Lewis video where I decode his murder trial in which he was acquitted following the deaths of two young men at a Super Bowl 34 party in Atlanta, Georgia in the early hours of January 31st in 2001. His Baltimore Ravens were not in that Super Bowl 34 but would be in and win the very next Super Bowl 35 exactly a 52 week span later. And now another premature death is associated with Ray Lewis. At Super Bowl 58, the most likely halftime performer that I predict will be the halftime performer is rapper-singer Doja Cat, who sang her Oscar-nominated hit song, Vegas. A remix of her song, Vegas, featured Drake and Eminem. It also features Kanye West, Lil Wayne, Migos, and Central C. Eminem is significant especially here because in the video for his 2020 song Darkness, Eminem portrays Stephen Paddock, who is the accused perpetrator of the biggest mass shooting in American history in Las Vegas, Nevada in 2017. In English gematria, darkness has a value of 28. The Baltimore Ravens franchise will have just turned 28 years old at the time of the Las Vegas Super Bowl. Ray Lewis III died at age 28, just as the World Trade Center did. The name of Odin's raven, Moonin, equals 28. The name of the Baltimore Ravens mascot named after Edgar Allan Poe, author of The Raven, Edgar, equals 28. The Ravens won their first Super Bowl on the 28th. The Route 91 festival performer at the time of the shooting was Jason Aldean, who was born on the 28th. So darkness also equals 28. A big number to this narrative. Wikipedia's description of Eminem's darkness video, quote, on January 17th, 2020, a music video of the song was released on Eminem's YouTube channel. The video follows the same plot as the lyrics. The first two verses alternate between showing Eminem in a dark room wearing a hoodie and an unidentified person in a hotel room wearing the same hoodie, surrounded by alcohol and ammunition. At the beginning of the third verse, the person takes off the hood and reveals himself to be the Las Vegas shooter before opening fire on the concert goers from the hotel window. As police try to break into his room, the shooter, instead of opening fire at the front door, shoots himself in the head." Unquote. Las Vegas will host Super Bowl 58. That perpetrator whom Eminem portrayed, Stephen Paddock, killed 58 people. In a country that is quite frankly the world capital of mass shootings, Las Vegas is the location of the biggest mass shooting and thus has an unfortunate association with Shooting. The gematria of shooting in the four base ciphers is 107, 44, 109, and 37. As it appears on the cover art for the single, Vegas Remix is Vegas RMX. It has a gematria value of 107, 44, 109, and 37, but not in the same base ciphers. Shooting equals 107, Vegas RMX equals 107. 107 is the 28th prime number. One noteworthy curiosity about the passing of Ray Lewis III is this reaction by friends and family as reported by TMZ. If you removed the background and only focused on the people, you wouldn't think that this was a funeral or a post-funeral or a memorial. None of the smiles appear to be forced. It is understandable how some may prefer to celebrate a life at a funeral or a memorial and try to make it more uplifting, but there's almost a party atmosphere in appearance. It is an unusual funeral image with a father who just lost his young son. Las Vegas is on the 115th West Meridian. Las Vegas is the site of the worst mass shooting in U.S. history, where the shooter is said to have killed 58 people. 58 in Jamarta, when it's spelled out, has a value of 115, like the 115th West Meridian. In English, Jamarta is simplest cipher, nevermore, has a value of 115. In the poem The Raven, the grief-stricken narrating character speaks to the raven from the shadow that it casts perched in front of a light above his chamber door. The death of Ray Lewis III is another chapter in the shadow of the raven. 
the poem's closing lines. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted. Nevermore. <laughs>